For just a second, my biggest takeaway from the weekend is Talanoa Hufanga is a star. He's a star strong safety. Look great. I don't know if he's an all pro player, but he's a pro bowler. His instincts, he's playing fast. And if you go out to practice, you see him out there. He leads all the drills. He's talking to D'Amico. The, every time this team reconvenes, whether mini camp to training camp, training camp to the preseason, now we're in the regular season, this guy takes it up another level. And I thought my number one takeaway was that he is a flat out star. And the addition of Hafanga at strong safety. Once you get Jimmy Ward back, and now you got Mosley, you got that kid Womack, and you've added Charvarius Ward. And I said it a week ago, I'll stay with it. I really think the Niners' strength may pivot this year from up front to their strength may be on the back end. Uh, I think their secondary is has potential to be awesome. I think Hufanga. Yeah, I think Hufanga, who who had been famous up to this moment simply for having a drop on 95-7 the game that we, that we use a lot. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to use that a lot more now this year. Dude looks like Polamalu out there. He sees and it. I, yeah, like I say that because he's got the same poof of hair coming out the back of the helmet. Yeah. And it's forget what he f- forget what his 40 time brother, is. Brother, brother. The guy plays fast. I had an end zone seat for this game. So to watch him like when the Bears were moving in that direction, uh, which first quarter, whatnot, like first quarter, third quarter, when they were moving in that direction, I had this great view of what he was seeing and what he was doing. My gosh. He sees it. He looks fantastic. Yeah, he diagnoses pre-snap like like a 10-year vet. The whole defense in was, the first half. He was the player of the year in the Listen. Pac-12 the entire conference, and he went in the fifth round because he ran a slow 40. The, the the whole game, I mean, the whole team, they made a fool out of me because in the stands, when they went up 10 nothing, all right, second half, I just started yelling. I'm like, that, Ball feels, game. that feels pretty insurmountable to me. Oh, it did. It feels pretty insurmountable. And the Bears fans were on. They had nothing to say. Right. They had nothing to say. They had 26 yards in the first half. Yeah, and then it all it all goes sideways. So I'm I'm with you. Hufanga was fantastic. I think the defense, Phenomenal. the defense that was so good in the first half, I can only chalk this up to just maybe being so maybe overly hyped for game one with the way that they then had it fall apart. Like, they were the dominant group. They were the best group on the field yesterday, no doubt. And then mistakes that do come from being overly excited, the penalties and the broken plays. Two huge broken plays and then lack of discipline penalties. And so for me, we'll get to Trey. We'll get to what happened in Big D. We've got all of that. But I'm, I'm totally with you. And for me, the first thing that I would say, if I walked into the 49er locker room after that game, y'all got to clean it up. You need to clean it up. This isn't about one player. This is not about one game. And this is not about one play or misplay. This is about an overall approach to the game that was just like the field, not clean. You have to play disciplined buttoned up football watch tom brady play football on sunday night watch the way he handles a game it's clean yeah. it's not always perfect but it's buttoned up it's got an approach it's got a strategy it has a system and it is executed with calmness and and and, and just a, a, a knowing on the field the 49ers lost it they totally lost stupid their stupid penalties i mean you can't can't do that you, not only do they have 12 but they had some really stupid penalties when the quarterback's giving himself up you can't go helmet to helmet aziz al shair um dre greenlaw had two personal fouls you got to be better than that you can fly around and make plays but you got to fly around and make plays and be smart and to me yeah too many penalties too many missed tackles i mean the bears are not special offensively but guess what oh, you got to break down in space well against Justin Fields. You can't come flying at him like Samson Ebukam did, like Drake Jackson did. You gotta play contain. You gotta break down. You gotta bring those guys to the ground. They didn't tackle well. They had dumb penalties. Debo had a turnover, a fumble in the red zone. 
Um, and then there were other things. McGlinchey had a had missed a block on a key sack on a key third, third down in the first quarter. Ebukam and Jackson lost contained on the quarterback. They losing Mitchell at the end of the first half. Who knew that that was going to be such a huge impactful uh, moment in the game? But Jeff Wilson struggled. Gibson dropped a pick. Womack dropped what could have been a pick six at the beginning yep. of the game. Yep. Uh, there was a communication breakdown on 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 the uh, touchdown to St. Brown. Uh, There was two busted plays that both resulted in touchdowns from the Niner defense. So the Niner defense has a ton of talent. They're really, really good on all three levels. But man, this was not their this was not their game. No, it fell apart. It fell apart in a way that it can't, which is a double digit lead and weather. Uh, and, and a young quarterback on the other side as well. Like, that that should be when you feast, not where they look more buttoned up than you. Yeah. And that's what bothered me so much. Like, everything was all just about not being buttoned up. So, uh, again, you're the guest, 888-957-9570. We will take your calls. We will look at your text coming in on the Comcast Business text line, same number. YouTube and Twitch, good morning to you. Thank you for being with us. I love the numbers I'm seeing there. Uh, People are ready to go today. We're blowing up on YouTube, as the kids say. This is more than double our normal audience, and so welcome. You should get over to YouTube. I say it every time. You have no clue how handsome Larry is. You should see it and comment here. Uh, And definitely during the breaks, I'll get back and forth with all of you on on YouTube and, and, and Twitch and whatnot. So thank you for being here and we will also get to Trey Lance and then any thoughts about Jimmy Garoppolo as well as at the game yesterday I have some some thoughts to share just about being in the building which are both about the game and beyond because there was some interesting stuff I, I, I want to share uh, about Soldier Field and and just again the weather and the way that all played out but here's here's what I would say about what everyone wants to talk about today because This is what the 49ers have set up. That's the thing that we talked about for the last two weeks, which is no matter what happens in the football game, the world is going to react to this through the lens of Trey Lance, whether he is the main reason or not. Um, this, This whole idea of, well, it wasn't about Trey, you're right, it wasn't about Trey. Then again, it's always going to be about Trey because that's the position and that's what the 49ers have set up by having Jimmy Garoppolo on the roster. I can tell you when I first went to the restroom at halftime, I was thrilled. I was thrilled with what I saw. You were thrilled to be in the the restroom? First of all, I was thrilled to finally get to the restroom. Here's a line that you never use at the urinal. Nice watch. (laughs) Okay. By the way, you know what Soldier Field has? That I've never seen anywhere else except for one place on earth. A trough. They got the troughs. Oh yeah. They got the candlestick troughs. I'm like, oh my gosh, they've got the troughs. I literally though, here's the thing. We're better at it than they are. There was a Bears fan next to me. Missing the trough? He didn't miss the trough. Rebounding? He choked. He choked on the open trough. He looked at it. He stood there for 28 seconds and he's like, I can't do it. And he just he recoiled and left. He was like, it's just too... He's having an inconsistent too stream, maybe? It's too vulnerable. <laughs> you're, like, you're right there for the whole world to oh, see. He, he had performance and anxiety. He, that, yes, yes. Choked S-O-F-T. And left. <laughs> so take that. Don't give me this Midwest hardcore weather football. Bears fan choked on the open trough, and <laughs> I looked at him as he left, and I did the no look into the trough. Oh, look at and you. And I said, you take that stuff back outside to Soldier Field. You should have said, you know what? I bet you late in the year the trough freezes over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was the funniest moment of the weekend for sure. But anyway, I digress. We're not going to continue on the trough? Well, I mean, again, there's a lot more lot more to get to all there. All of you candle stickers, it's no big deal. You do it, you go back to your seat and watch the second half. It's a disgusting it's, thing. I mean, trough. it's really weird. It's gross. Um, but anyway.